In this video, we're going to finish out the angles in a triangle worksheet, otherwise known as triangle angle sum worksheet on the CUDA software website. You can find this within the geometry section. So for numbers 17 through 20, our directions say solve for x. So we're not solving for a degree, we're solving for x. So we know that 55 degrees plus 54 degrees plus x plus 74 will all equal 180. So we have 55 plus 54 plus the quantity of this angle, x plus 74, equals 180. So I'm going to combine 55 with 54, and I'm also going to add that to 74, since the order in which you add does not matter, and the only operation on this left-hand side is addition. So 55 plus 54 will equal 109, and adding that to 74 will give me 183. So I have 183 plus x equal to 180. When I subtract 183 from both sides, I get that x is equal to negative 3. So negative 3 is the solution in number 17. And if x is negative 3, that negative 3 plus 74 will give us the measure of this angle, 71. So 55 degrees plus 71 degrees plus 54 degrees equals 180 degrees. However, it asked us to solve for x, which was negative 3. In 18, again, the quantities of each angle sums up to 180 degrees, since this is a triangle. So 180 equals 8x plus 2 plus 70 plus 60. So I'm going to add 2, 70, and 60 together. So I'll have 180 equal to 8x plus 132. And I can add this 2 even though it's in a parentheses since my operation is addition between each of my terms and I'm not removing the 8 from the x just yet. 180 minus 132 will give me a positive 48 and that is equal to 8x. So when I divide by 8 I get that 6 is equal to x in number 18. For number 19, in order to solve for x, I first have to solve for this angle. So I know that 180 degrees equals 64 degrees plus 27 degrees plus this angle, let's call that y. So 180 equals 64 plus 27 plus y, which is 91 degrees plus y. Subtracting 91 degrees from both sides, I get that y is equal to 89 degrees. So knowing that y is 89 degrees, we can see that y is a supplementary angle with 97 plus x. So 180 equals 89 plus 97 plus x. So I have that 180 equals 89 plus 97, which is 186 plus x. Subtracting 186 from both sides, I'll get that negative 6 is equal to x. So negative 6 is my solution in number 19. In number 20, I'm solving for x again, given that the quantity x plus 51 equals this angle. 80 degrees forms a vertical angle with this angle, and therefore they're congruent. And 60 degrees forms a vertical angle with this angle, so this is also 60 degrees since they're congruent. So I have the 180 equals 80 plus 60 plus x plus 51. Since x plus 51, 80, and 60 are all interior angles of a triangle, that sum will equal 180. So I have 180 equal to 80 plus 60, which is 140, plus 51, which is 191. So 191 plus x. Subtracting 191 from both sides, I get that negative 11 is equal to x. So negative 11 is my solution in number 20. And if I wanted to solve for, for the measure of this angle, I'd plug negative 11 back in for x. For the last four problems of this worksheet, we're finding the measure of angle A. So we're going to solve for x and plug it back in in order to get that angle. So here is our angle A. We know that x plus 51 plus x plus 59 plus 84 will sum 
to equal 180 since they're the three interior angles of a triangle. So x plus 51 plus x plus 59 plus 84 equals 180. Now I'm going to combine like terms. I'm going to combine 51, 59, and 84 together, and I'm also going to combine x and x. So x plus x is 2x, and we're adding that to 51 plus 59 plus 84, which equals 194. So 2x plus 194 equals 180. So I'll subtract 194 from both sides. That will give me that 2x equals negative 14. Knowing that 2x equals negative 14, I can divide by 2 to get that 1x, or x is equal to negative 7. Now that I know that x is equal to negative 7, I need to plug that in for x in order to find the measure of angle A. So the measure of angle A is going to equal x plus 51. So A is going to equal x, which is negative 7, plus 51, and negative 7 plus 51 equals 44. So the measure of angle A equals 44 degrees. For number 22, I'm given a right angle of 90 degrees, and then I'm given x plus 37 and x plus 67. So those three quantities all add up to 180. Combining my like terms, I'm going to combine 90, 37, and 67, and I'm going to combine x and x. So 180 equals 2x plus 90 plus 37 plus 67 equals 194. Subtracting 194 from both sides, I get that negative 14 equals 2x. Dividing by 2, I get that negative 7 equals x. Now I'm going to take my value of x and plug it in for my x in my equation that equals the measure of angle A. So if the measure of angle A equals x plus 37, I'll get the measure of angle A equal to negative 7 plus 37, which equals a positive 30. So the measure of angle A is 30 degrees in number 22. Here is my angle A. So the measure of angle A is equal to 3x minus 6. So I need to solve for x and plug that in. You can see that here I have a linear pair, and linear pairs are supplementary. So 180 degrees minus 130 degrees will equal 50 degrees. So this angle is 50 degrees. You can see that here I have vertical angles, and vertical angles are equal in measure. So this angle is also 8x plus 4. Now I have my three angles within a triangle, and I know that those sum to equal 180. So 3x minus 6 plus 8x plus 4 plus 50 equals 180. Now I'm combining like terms, combining 3x and 8x, and I'm going to combine negative 6 with 4 and 50. 3x plus 8x equals 11x, and I'm going to add that to negative 6 plus 4 plus 50, which equals 48. And that 6 is negative since it's subtracted. So 11x plus 48 equals 180. When I subtract 48 from both sides, I get that 11x equals 132. So when I divide by 11, my x value will equal 12. Now I'm going to take that value of x, which is 12, and plug it in for my x in the measure of angle A. So that's going to be 3 times 12 minus 6. 3 times 12 is 36, and when we subtract 6, we get 30. So the measure of angle A is 30 degrees in number 23. And lastly in this video, number 24. If you haven't already, click the thumbs up button, and also don't forget to subscribe. So now, hopefully that you've subscribed to my channel, let's continue on with number 24. We're solving for the measure of angle A, and we can see that the measure of angle A equals the quantity x plus 23. So we need to solve for x in order to get the measure of angle A. 4x plus 17 forms a vertical angle, and therefore this angle is the same. So this is also 4x plus 17. Now we have our three interior angles of a triangle. 
So we know that 80 degrees plus x plus 23 plus 4x plus 17 equals 180. Combining like terms, I'll combine x with 4x and I'll combine 80 with 23 and 17. x plus 4x is 5x, so I'll have that 5x, 80 plus 23 plus 17, which gives me 120, and that is equal to 180. When I subtract 120 from both sides, I get that 5x is equal to 60. So when I divide by 5, I get that x is equal to 12. So I'm going to take that 12 and plug it in for x in my equation that equals the measure of angle A. So 12 plus 23 equals 35 degrees. So 35 degrees is my measure of angle A. And that wraps up the video, triangle angle sum, or angles in a triangle. And if you haven't already, don't forget to click that subscribe button. And if you need clarification on any of these problems, or you just have a nice comment, leave it below.